Hi everybody, uh, Steph here again and today what I'm actually doing is showing you my beautiful Parker Parker Dufold Centennial fountain pen. As you can see it comes in this lovely um, hard um, Parker case and if we just take the pen out for a moment and give the, the case a little bit of a twirl as I say it's a hard case with this lovely sort of leatherette um, covering so we'll pop that out of the way and uh, this is the pen ladies and gentlemen an absolutely beautiful beautiful Parker uh, Parker Dufold Centennial now the pens were brought out in the region of the late sort of 1980s um, this particular one as I say is a Centennial they actually brought out um, and a model what they termed as an international which was actually a smaller model or a shorter model if you like um, just this particular pen size wise from the top of the cap here to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 136 uh, millimeters capped and the diameter of the barrel is quite a hefty 13 13 millimeters so it's a lovely substantial fountain pen and as I say it comes in this absolutely beautiful blue marble and I believe the pen is made from a as I say from this marble um, acrylic the trim on the fountain pen is a 23 karat gold plate uh, a gold plate and as you can see there it has two two bands to the bottom of the barrel um, if we show you the cap here, it has a, a large one and a small band um, to the bottom of the cap, and the <coughs> excuse me, and the clip on the pen is this Parker, very recognisable Parker feather uh, arrow clip, if you like, and to the top there um, we have this this black um, cap top, if you like. Um, as I say, this particular one is roughly, well, this pen I date to 1990. Um, the models in the late 1980 actually had a, a smaller clip here, so it was actually shorter and the feathers were actually flat, where this particular one, uh, they changed the design, the 1990 model, this one, um, the feathers here are actually raised, you can actually feel them to touch and the the cap bands also are slightly raised as well okay so there was a slight difference in design these are a longer a longer clip um, in the later models the, the sort of difference again the they brought out two cap bands and made both of the bands the same the same width um, and again in the later model what you'll see is that the top of the cap here has a slight conical shape where this one's quite straight and flat the later models um, as I say it was just slightly um, slightly conical um, so as I say this is the 19, 1990 version um, if we open the well the cap obviously unscrews there okay and there's a a nice view of the pen itself an absolutely beautiful pen ladies and gentlemen as you can see it's got this lovely um, black section here again to the bottom of this section it's, it's got another uh, gold band and if we show you underneath there you can see that it has this um, Parker um, Parker feed to the back and I don't know if you can actually see it um, but it has the letter M to the back um, these pens were actually fitted with a standard medium medium nib. The nibs also, there was two options at the time for the nib. There was an option of a 14 karat nib. Um, and if, if you can actually see, let's try again show you a close up. We'll try and keep it still. This particular pen, as you can see, is an 18 karat gold nib. Um, and what it actually says on the nib, um, it's actually got, it's actually a gold nib now you can see it's got this sort of inlaid arrow which I believe is it's actually a well they, they termed it as a ruthenium which is basically from the platinum family so it's got this platinum arrow to the nib as well and again I'm hoping you can see there as I say 18 carat to the left and if we just turn it to the right you can actually see that it has um, 750 on it as well 
Okay, so it's actually a beautiful large nib, 18 carat as I said. Okay, and again, just to reiterate, uh, a medium nib. I'm hoping you can actually see the the M to the underside of the feed there. Okay, if we take the section off and unscrew the barrel, what it has inside, ladies and gentlemen, in this is this um, Parker Deluxe ink converter. And I'm hoping you can actually see there, ladies and gentlemen, the pen, this pen has actually never been inked. Okay, the converter, nice and simple. What we do by turning the um, the knob at the bottom, you'll see the converter goes up and down. So what you'd simply do is dip the uh, the nib into the ink, turn the converter, and what it'd actually do is take the piston back and fill fill the converter with ink. Um, as I say, I don't want to fill this particular pen because. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the pen has never been inked, so it's actually brand brand new, although it's a 1990s pen, obviously it's not brand new, but as I say, it's never actually been inked. Um, but actually saying that, for you, for you people that are actually going to tell me off for not writing with the pen, um, as I say, I'm not going to fill the pen. What I'm going to do is nice and simply, I'm just going to dip dip the pen okay and then we'll just give you a little bit of a writing sample so what we have is a Parker Dufold Sen Ten Centennial the pen actually writes actually lovely it's lovely and smooth um, as we said before it comes standard with this 18 karat gold medium nib and although I don't do any writing it's actually a pleasure to actually write with so let me just take the ink out of the way before we before we spill it and let's show you the writing sample so as you can see a beautiful writer very very smooth ladies and gentlemen um, very very nice pen to write with so if we pop the cap back there so there we have it ladies and gentlemen as I say I don't want to fill the pen because this pen is actually looking for a new owner so what I'm actually going to do I'm going to leave that pleasure of filling the pen to the new owner um, and he can decide or she can decide whether to keep the pen as a collectible in their collection or whether they want to fill the pen and uh, and write with the pen because as I say the pen has never been inked it's in absolutely superb condition there's no issues with the pen there's no uh, there's no brassing there's no wear absolutely nothing it's in superb like new condition so there we have it ladies and gentlemen I hope you've enjoyed looking at my Parker Dufold Centennial as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you as always and don't forget ladies and gentlemen there's plenty more videos on my uh, YouTube channel so go and have a look at them don't be shy leave a comment and just for now ladies and gentlemen I'll just simply say bye now